The last video focused on a BIX-3 setup for FPV and how its electronics was laid out. This time I want to detail how to set up a cheap short-range telemetry link using an HC06 Bluetooth board, an IO Gear GBU421 dongle, and a Windows 8.1 HP computer. Happily I can report that once all these pieces have been configured, it works well. To demo the point, Here's a clip of launching Mission Planner and then linking to the BIX's APM via Bluetooth using the components just described. True, it takes a few moments to get up and going, but given all the parameters being passed through this link and the advantages of it being wireless, it was just what I was looking for. However, for me, getting it to work the first time was a bit of a journey. Since the APM was already sending Mavlink data to the minimum OSD, and the HC06 receive lead was going to be wired in parallel to that feed, I needed to get the HC06's default baud rate moved from 9600 to 57600. You do that using the HC06 AT command set via its wired serial side. In my case, I took the FTDI board I was already using to program the OSD board, made a four wire harness to connect the two boards, VCC to VCC, ground to ground, transmit to receive, and receive to transmit. Then plug the FTDI board into the computer and watch which serial port shows up in the device manager. Also now is a good time to confirm that the serial port is set to the HC06's current baud rate. In this clip mine is already set to run at 57.6, but if it's a new board then you'll want to set the serial port to 9600. Next, launch the Arduino IDE and after confirming that the FTDI's serial port has been selected, open the serial monitor screen, again confirm the baud rate setting, and make sure that the no termination character option has been selected. Here's a website that does a nice job of describing the HC06 and in particular the AT commands. The only real step required is to issue AT plus baud 7 but you might also want to rename your HC06. I renamed this one RGPlane which will show up in clips that follow. And since it's already been programmed in this clip I'm just doing AT and AT plus version to demo the process. Remember make sure you have the no terminating character option set on your serial monitor Otherwise, the AT commands won't be recognized. Now we're ready to focus on the Bluetooth dongle. Others will work, but I happen to have an old GBU421. And to be honest, it was almost my undoing. Here's why. I had never used it on this 8.1 machine, and it had been a while since I had last used it on my Vista computer. And when I wasn't using it, I'd typically leave it in the USB port, but turned off. Turns out, off means inside the dongle, not at the port. So when I plugged it into the 8.1 computer, it didn't see it as a Bluetooth device. It just saw it as a human interface device and as such wouldn't install any Bluetooth drivers to support it. Even the 8.1 drivers from Broadcom and I for what it was. What I had to do was to go back to the old computer, turn the dongle back on, then I could plug it into this machine. The 8.1 operating system would recognize it and install a generic set of Bluetooth drivers. And the Broadcom drivers worked as well. Long story short, make sure the dongle's blue light comes on when you plug it in. The next step is not really necessary, but if you're having troubles getting the Mission Planner to work through Bluetooth, this is a good sanity check. Connect an Arduino to your Bluetooth module similar to what's shown here. It's essentially the same connection as was used with the FTDI board, but this time the Arduino has been programmed with a simple serial, serial echo program which makes the HC06 send a known character string. As shown in this clip, the sketch was written around a Leonardo, but it's only a dozen or so of real lines of code and can easily be rewritten to work with most any Arduino. Now, assuming the dongle is plugged in with the drivers installed, the next step is to energize the HC06 and pair it with the computer. 
Again, assuming that the dongle is running correctly, there will be a Bluetooth icon in the tool tray at the bottom of the screen. Click on it to expose the Add Bluetooth Device menu option and then click that option. On this screen, click Bluetooth, shown at the left, and it will take you to this screen. When you see Ready to Pair, click it, then click the Pair button, and type in the pairing code, which unless it's been changed, is 1234. Click Next, and then wait for the pairing process to complete. Next, close out this screen, and then you can perform the following actions to verify that all the supporting drivers have set up and are correctly installed. Right-click the Windows icon and use the Control Panel option to get to the Printers and Devices screen. At the bottom of this page, you should see your HCO6 module. Remember, in my case, I renamed it RGPlane. Right-click this icon, select the Properties option, and examine the Hardware and Services tabs. Notice in particular that the Service tab displays a checked serial port SPP and its assigned COM port number. In my case, it's 5. This will be the COM port you'll use in Mission Planner to link to your APM. Now, going back to the Bluetooth icon in the System Tray, right-click it and select Open Settings. Click the COM Ports tab. Notice you see two COM ports listed, an outgoing and an incoming. This is normal. You will use the outgoing one, and again, in my case, it's 5. Now, go back and right-click the Windows icon again, and this time, click the Device Manager option. Find the same two serial port entries you just saw, and confirm or set their baud rates to 57600. Now, those are the key settings, and once set, should stay the same the next time you use this hardware arrangement. So at this point, technically, we're ready to connect APM to Mission Planner. But in this clip, because I introduced the Adreno option, we'll explore that before going to Mission Planner. So with the Leonardo connected to the now paired HCO6 and running the sketch presented earlier, we have once again launched the Adreno IDE and have gone straight into its serial monitor, selecting COM port 5 along the way. Now it's important to understand that the USB cable you see connected to the Leonardo is running to a 5 volt wall wart, not the computer. So our serial link is on the Bluetooth RF side, not the wired side. So the Hello World message seen scrolling up the serial port monitor confirms that we have a 57600 wireless Bluetooth link. And when we sent a character string, we got that echoed back repeatedly, confirming that it's a bidirectional wireless link. We also see when we set the monitor up, the HCO6's LED goes from blinking to solid, and when we close the serial monitor, the LED goes back to blinking. So the connect-disconnect handshake goes well from the HCO6's perspective as well. Since we now know that the HC06 can communicate with the computer via the Arduino serial monitor, another test that we can now do with some confidence is connect it to the APM telemetry port and see the raw MavLink data. Here's what that gets us. Okay, we've done all the pre-checks. Let's go for the gold, an APM to Mission Planner via Bluetooth and see what happens. Failure. Well, fear not, there's one more trick. Watch this.
All right, it's working. The point here is, even with everything right, occasionally it won't connect on first try. It's rare, but all I've ever had to do was just do a power off, power on, on just the HCO6, and Mission Planner connects on the next try. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching, and best of luck to you on your next project.